At the moment, life is very different to what we are used to. The current global pandemic has radically changed the world around us. Particularly as a young person, thinking about the future can be daunting. However, we need to remember that decisions made by today's leaders will have a huge impact on how we live the rest of our lives. That is why it is vital that we, as young people, engage in these decisions with optimism and strength. On Tuesday the 15th of September, the third Nelson Mandela Youth Leadership Summit will take place. The theme of this year's summit is young people leading with optimism through the pandemic and beyond. We are encouraging young people to come together and talk with leaders from the fields of science, commerce, business, education and diplomacy. The exceptional array of guest speakers include Dr. Amanda Caples, Victoria's lead scientist, Michael Klein, the US Consul General to Melbourne, Andrew Compston, the State Director of the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Karen Sobels, the President at the Victorian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Ken Murray, Educator and Campus Principal at the Wanganui campus of the Greater Shepherd and Secondary College, Margaret Hepworth from the Gandhi Experiment, and Victor Purton, the Chief Optimism Officer from the Centre for Optimism. We're inviting you to learn from their experiences, hear what they have to say on the topic of leadership and optimism, and to offer your own insights as a young leader. As young people, we can utilise our passion and optimism to help pave the path forward. We are the next generation of thinkers, leaders and activists. And through the Nelson Mandela Youth Leadership Summit, we have the opportunity to actively participate in these discussions. Have your voice heard and sign up today. Hi, my name is Victoria and I'm school captain from St George's Road Primary School. I am really excited for this Nelson Mandela Summit because it builds up networks, leadership and confidence. Victoria, what makes you optimistic? I just start looking at the down things of life and I get a lot of support from my family members, my friends and my teachers and my mentors. Why should people come to this summit? because you're going to experience a whole lot of different things and it'd be a great way to become more optimistic. Hmm. What would you like to tell everyone? What makes you optimistic? By coming to the summit, it will be a great way for you to start being more optimistic. Right now, the world is very different to what we are used to. The global pandemic has changed life as we know it. As a young person, I know that it can be particularly daunting to think about the future. But decisions made by today's leaders will continue to impact our lives for years to come. That's why it's so important that we continue to engage with those decisions with strength and with optimism. On Tuesday 15th of September, the third Nelson Mandela Youth Leadership Summit will take place. The theme for the summit is young people leading with optimism through the pandemic and beyond. We encourage you to come together with leaders in the fields of science, diplomacy, business, commerce and education to learn from them and give your own insights. The exceptional array of speakers for the event include Karen Sabels, President of the Victorian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Dr. Amanda Kappels, Victoria's lead scientist, Michael F. Klein, the USA Consul General of Melbourne, Andrew Comston, State Director of the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Ken Murray, educator and campus principal at the Wanganui campus of the Greater Shepherd and Secondary College, Margaret Hepworth from the Gandhi Experiment, and Victor Purton, the Chief Optimism Officer for the Centre for Optimism. Learn from their experiences, hear what they have to say, and give your own insights as well. As young people, we can utilize our passion and optimism to help pave the path forward. We are the next generation of leaders, 
thinkers and activists. And through the Nelson Mandela Youth Leadership Summit, we have the opportunity to actively participate in these discussions. Sign up today and have your voice heard. Hi everyone, so my name is Anna Tamali and I'm just here to talk to you about the third Nelson Mandela Youth Summit, organised by Future Voices and the Gandhi Experiment, held on Tuesday the 15th of September. So this year's theme is titled Young People Leading with Optimism Through the Pandemic and Beyond. And as a young person studying online in these unexpected times, it is quite difficult to stay motivated and optimistic about the future. However, as a Future Voice alumni, I want to share a bit of my experiences within the organisation and how it may have solidified my passion for youth. Just like any other young person, you attend school and to some extent, you have an idea of what you want to become. But just like the majority of us, you have no idea how to get there. You lack connections and exposure to the industries you want to work in. However, within this program, you'll be exposed to various industries, people and opportunities, and most importantly, you will acquire knowledge and skills that will fundamentally prepare you for the future. I cannot emphasise that enough. If this, interests you, if this interests you, come along and participate within the summit and hear from prominent speakers such as Dr. Amanda Caples, Victor Pertron, Margaret Hepworth, Karen Sobbles, Consul General Michael Kieran, and Andrew Cuffston. Hope to see you there on Tuesday the 15th of September. Bye for now. Good morning. And welcome. My name is John Cortese. I'm Principal of Notre Dame College. I thank you for the opportunity of saying a few words in Shepparton's third Nelson Mandela Youth Leadership Summit. I think the theme this time is brilliant. The theme young people leading with optimism through this pandemic and beyond. And we all need to go and live a life where we're going to challenge ourselves to do a great job as leaders. I was asked what makes me optimistic. I believe that all people have good things in them. I believe that in a crisis, we have a challenge to seek improvement, to do things better personally, and to learn something new. And I also have a belief that in reality, we're going to do things better and things will work out eventually. I was also asked what are the big issues that young leaders are going to face today? There is no doubt that the big issues are going to be around mental health and how we address that. Social media, the respect that people have in society, the caring for others and the caring for the environment and setting goals that are going to make your life better and make the life of the people in the world generally better. How did leadership when I was a young man, how did it help me to become what I am today? And I would say without doubt, the greatest opportunity that I had was that I had great mentors as a young man. They challenged me to try new things. And some of the challenges they threw my way were scary, but they believed that I was capable of doing it. So they had faith in my ability and I gave it a go. And I was supported magnificently by the mentors, whether I succeeded or failed. So be on the lookout for great mentors and have a yes mentality. That means accept challenges that are thrown your way and try your hardest to meet those challenges. And finally, I was asked, as a young person today, what are the things that people need to do? I would say the most important thing that you've got that you need to do is work out what you're passionate about. Work out what you love doing, work out what you like being involved in. And then when you've decided that, Go and work really hard to make sure you do the very best that you can in that role. And at all times, seek guidance, seek help. And if you do that, you'll end up realising that you don't work a day in your life. You're just doing something that you're passionate about, that you love, and your life is going to be one glorious life. I wish you well through this summit. I wish you well through life in general. And I ask you to try your hardest at everything that you do. And whenever there comes a little bit of a hurdle, a little bit of a trip up in your way, give it your best shot to overcome it and you'll find you have a magnificent life. Have a great day. Enjoy life.
Uh, g'day everyone. Thanks so much uh, for tuning in today uh, to this amazing event. Congratulations to Victor and to Rashidi for pulling this together and all the rest of the team. You've got some amazing speakers, so soak it all up. Uh, young people leading with optimism through the pandemic and beyond. Um, if you've turned up to this, you're already leading, you're already interested. Congratulations. Well done. Uh, the guys have sent me some questions. So um, what makes me optimistic? Uh, to be honest, kids today make me optimistic. They're so much better, so much more engaged than when I was a kid. Um, people tell you it was better in the old, old days. That is bullshit. Um, you guys are amazing. And the things that kids are doing now under the pressures that they are under is phenomenal. Uh, you know, we have young people coming through in our business and I just, I can't begin to believe the capability and the careful and considered way they go about their decision making. Um, next question, what are the big issues needed uh, young leaders to step up? Um, that's a big question and, and maybe I'd rephrase that and I'd say at, at an early stage of your leadership, the, the thing that you need to worry about most is making sure you've got your foundations right. You know, that you, you've got your, your moral compass, you understand your right and wrong, you're sure with yourself, and that you're doing things on a small scale that are right. And then the last thing is putting your hand up for something, for anything, where you're trying out your leadership. You don't have to know anything about it. No leader for the first time when they step out knows what they're doing. So it's about putting your hand up for the first time to try. And as you develop your leadership skills, and you become more comfortable with who you are in your own skin and what's right and wrong, and you really need to focus on that. If you focus on those things, forget about the self-promotion and all the other leadership stuff. If you've got that moral compass stuff right, as life goes on, people will seek you out because they know you're solid on that and they will want to hear from you about that. What would a young person study today if uh, they wanted to do what I do? Look, my advice about what you should study is find the thing that you are interested in and follow that with passion. Um, you know, somebody that has chosen a difficult to get into a narrow field, but is the best at it, will have a highly successful and productive life. If you choose the thing that maybe is popular or you think that there is the way of the future because that's where the jobs are, but you're not interested in it, it's a waste of your time and capability and capacity. You've got this great opportunity now. Pick the thing you're passionate about, you're interested in, and be the best at that. That will allow you to be the most persuasive. And you can influence a whole range of worldwide things from almost any position. I run the most boring business Maybe anywhere. We wash sheets and towels for hospitals and laundries and things like that. I mean, it is the most unsexy business in the world. Having said that, it's given me the chance. We employ 320 people. We've been able to be really involved in multiculturalism. We've been able to be involved in Indigenous affairs. I'm involved in community leadership. So really, I have just followed something I'm interested in, which is running businesses, and that has given me the opportunity. So. Um, that would be my advice to you. So listen up today, guys. Enjoy all the great speakers. I'm on Facebook. Um, I'm on LinkedIn. If you ever want to chat about anything more or talk more about what I've done today, uh, get in touch with me and I'm happy to chat. Hi, I'm Wendy Lovell, the member for Northern Victoria Region. And I'd like to congratulate all of you on participating in the third Nelson Mandela Leadership Summit. Leadership qualities are not something that we're naturally born with, but they are something that can be fostered in people. I was lucky to have the example of really great parents who taught me that if I wanted to live in a good community, I had to contribute to making that place a good community. My parents were leaders in business and community service, and I followed them into business and community service. I was that person on every fundraising committee the person who advocated to politicians for better services and infrastructure in our town. From there, I progressed to a career in politics, to being the politician who actually made things happen. I've been fortunate to have a really great career and to have the honour of being a minister in government, 
a position that gives you the opportunity to really make a difference to people's lives. One of the things that I implemented as Housing Minister was a policy to have youth foyers in Victoria. We have one of those here in Greater Shepparton. These are facilities that actually change young people's lives. They give young people who are homeless, who are couch surfing, who are disengaged with education, the opportunity to have stable housing, to re-engage with their education and to build a better life for themselves. And I'm really proud of the achievements of our youth foyers, particularly the one here in Greater Shepparton that has given so many of our young people the opportunity to build a better life for themselves. But we don't only need leaders in politics, we need leaders at all levels of our community. In our sporting groups, our community service, our cultural groups, there are many opportunities to be leaders in Greater Shepparton. And as we come out of this global pandemic caused by COVID-19, there will be lots of opportunities to help our economy recover in Greater Shepparton as well. So we will need many leaders. I'm hoping that from you participating in today's Nelson Mandela Summit, that you will learn some of the skills that will enable you to be one of those leaders that not only helps us to recover from the pandemic, but who also goes on to make Greater Shepparton an even greater place to live. Thank you very much and good luck with the summit.